Hey, it's Tim here in today's video, a quick update about Notion and Tableau. Let's get stuck in. Okay, so out of the blue, a couple of days ago, Notion posted this post. Essentially, private Tableau dashboards are now embeddable in Notion. Now, when they posted this, I was like, wait a minute, I've done a video on this, and I swear it was way more difficult to even add a Tableau public viz to Notion. And actually, when I checked my video, uh, you know, that, that was the case. If you actually uh, do a quick Google, I'll do one now. If I search Tableau and Notion, my video comes uh, up top and you can see there in August, I showed people a way of doing it and it involved quite a few steps. It also made me realize that behind the scenes, they've changed it and made it much, much easier. So let me show you how much easier it is now. If I go ahead to my Tableau public profile, I really need to get into the Viz game again because I used to make Viz's and I just don't do that anymore for lots of reasons. Maybe that's a separate video. Um, but let's say I wanna take this Trees in New York visualization. Maybe maybe not that one, because that actually takes a while to load. Let's take this one, a Viz of the day that I did from ages ago about um, Donald Trump, even, even, even better pick. <laughs> let's let's take the link. And uh, if we head over to Notion, I've got a page here that's been set up. And what, I, what I'll do here is I'll just basically go and try and do an embed. So in Notion, when you do backslash, it gives you this little uh, block insertion uh, tool. And you can just go ahead and type what you're looking for. I'll type embed, select embed. And then I'm able to just go ahead and paste the link to the viz, hit embed link. And lo and behold, it loads. This you this this was not how it worked before. I, I promise you. If I put my face over there, you can see that it loads. Now, one of the nice things about Notion is not only, of course, that it's a very flexible tool, but you can play around with the sizing of this window just by doing that. And I think this actually represents one of the nicest ways to embed a Tableau public viz. Now, the thing is, if you make the viz smaller than the space the viz is supposed to have, then you'll see that it does actually cut it out. So you want to make sure that whatever you do, you do actually kind of get the spacing right. But as far as I'm concerned, if I just zoom out a little bit so we can see this work a little bit better, you can see it fits the page nicely and you can have this sit in Notion. And what I realized is like, oh, this is super useful. And the problem we had before is that you couldn't do this with a Tableau cloud or Tableau server link. And now that's possible. I'm not gonna show you that though, because I have a bug with my Tableau online instance where essentially the viz doesn't load. And I'm not sure if it's a Notion thing or a Tableau thing, but in essence, the exact same steps should work. You should be able to take the URL from your Tableau public viz. Let's go ahead over here. If I go back to uh, this tweet, you'll just get this uh, particular URL here. Um, grab that, post it inside of Notion as an embed and it should just work. Now that is what this post is actually saying. So if you actually get it to work, let me know. I'd love to see it working. Uh, an example, maybe you should make your own video about the same thing. But this actually opened up a new idea in my head because the thing about Notion is it's very, very flexible. You can set up a page however you want. And I think it's made Notion the number one place to do data portfolios. What am I talking about? Well, when you start to work in the Tableau space, your Tableau pro public profile becomes your sort of a creative space, a place to showcase your work. And actually the Tableau public team have done an incredible job over the last few weeks and months even to make this a, uh, a much, much better place. That said, you don't necessarily always want everything to be visible on your public profile. And sometimes when you're working with a job recruiter or you're going to an interview and you wanna send someone one link, you'd like to be able to curate what's on that page. And what is nice about Notion, if I go back to my, uh, where's, where did it go? If I go back to this little tab here, you'll see that it actually get, lets you control a lot more than just what we see. So let me do this. Let me go ahead and grab this. Let's just delete this block. And um, let me put my face back on here. And one of the nice things you can do is you can set up blocks. So just as a very simple example, let me go and get another viz. Let's go get something smaller. Let's get this one, for example. Let's take this presidential race uh, viz, um, another viz of the day. I'll go ahead and uh, share that, grab the link, and copy that. And the nice thing about this is I actually figured out a technique in this particular visualization. So in my portfolio, I could be trying to showcase a technique. So what I can do here is I can see backslash embed. Um, and if we go ahead and select that, we'll paste this in hit embed link, and you'll see that it goes ahead and adds the visualization as you would expect. Now, the really nice thing is that now I can put this in context. I can actually start to sort of build a page around this. So you could say something like, um, you could do like a H3 maybe and say um, um, Tableau Viz of the Day. And you could add some text about this. So in this viz, I figured out a 
tracking reference line. Reference line, okay? And you can start to add text and the, the flexibility of Notion allows you to really sort of go to town with this. And then you can add something called a toggle. So you can say, look, let's go add a toggle list and we can say, uh, view the viz, okay? And now that you've done that, you can add other viz of the day. So maybe you've got like all my viz of the days, all the things you want to do. And you can just drag this particular viz inside of that content block. And so now it sits inside of this little block. Now, the frustrating thing with this, if I just try and expand it wider, you see it doesn't go wide enough to kind of expand from the GID. So what I have to do is I have to go up here and set the page to full width. And now it works, but the, the text looks a little bit weird. But what it does allow you to do is you can put multiple vizs in here and when the user drops this toggle down, they see the viz and it's actually gonna load and then they can interact with it. And you can see here the technique that I actually figured out was this ability for the tracking line to follow on a separate chart whilst hovering over the first one. There's a video of how to do this already on my YouTube channel from way back when. Um, but in essence, I think this is a really nice setup. You could do some really, really powerful things. The other thing you could do with this, if you want to get it all left aligned is you can actually play around with the layout out on Notion and go to town with that. But in a separate video, we'll actually go ahead and build a really good data portfolio using all the capability of Notion to do layout, but then the power of embedding in Tableau to put them inside of this. And I think this is a much nicer thing to be able to share because you can customize it, you can make it your own, and you can also link off to blogs and other assets that you've created in other places. Even videos of talks that you've done, this is a much, much better way of showcasing your work. So look out for the video when I get to do that in the next month or so. But anyways, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.